It's great to be part of the India Economic Summit of the World Economic Forum in Mumbai. Uh, it's the first time the event is uh, happening in Mumbai, uh, which is truly special. Uh, Mumbai being the financial capital of India, uh, with uh, large corporates also being based in Mumbai. The event has gone exceedingly well. The focus of the event has been primarily on uh, key issues that we need to address over the next decade or two in order to harness the growth that we have uh, in front of us. Uh, the key issues, number one, is harnessing talent. India is a young nation uh, with a large number of people below 25 years of age. And we are going to be uh, having these people graduating and coming into the workforce over the next 10 years. And it's so important to leverage all the technology that we have in order to both achieve the quality of education as well as the skills that are necessary in order for effectively deploying these people um, in future opportunities. Second aspect of the talent development is the unskilled labor. India has a huge pool of unskilled labor which need to be upgraded so that we can effectively use them and achieve higher level of productivity. So one aspect was talent. The second aspect uh, we talked about was about inclusion. India has more than 300 to 400 million people living in the rural areas which need to be brought under the financial system, education, healthcare and a variety of other uh, benefits and we need to be committed to improving the quality of these people in order to have a society which is uh, sustainable and uh, continue to grow for a long period of time. And again, uh, very many ideas were discussed, both technological invention as well as policy invention, as well as the work that needed to be done by the businesses in order to address this issue. The other uh, aspect that came in during the forum is the European crisis. Uh, there was not a single session that I remember where the European crisis was not discussed. Uh, true, uh, Europe is going through a major crisis and more than one country is, uh, figuring out in the, is figuring in the crisis and it's going to have a global impact.